Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problems Solutions Presented by Eduxit.com In this video, we are going to provide Bank Reconciliation Statement Unfavorable Balance of Passbook Solutions Problem 15 Solution The problem statement is as follows. Overdraft shown by the passbook of Mr. Mutli is 20,000 rupees. Prepare bank reconciliation statement on dated March 31st, 2000 plus. 1. Bank charges debited as per passbook 500 rupees. 2. Checks recorded in the cash book but not sent to the bank for collection 2500 rupees. 3. Received a payment directly from customer 4,600 rupees. 4. Check issued but not presented for payment 6,980 rupees. 5. Interest created by the bank 100 rupees. 6. LIC paid by bank 2,500 rupees. 7. Checks deposited with the bank but not collected 3500 rupees. Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars, let us first recap about why there is a need for reconciliation. By preparing the bank reconciliation statement, we get an idea about why there is a difference between the cash book and the passbook balances. The difference could be due to timing difference on recording the transactions, errors made by the business or the bank. Few reasons of the timing difference are checks issued by the business but not yet presented for payment. When the business issues a check to the supplier or creditor, they are immediately entered on the credit side of the cash book. The supplier or creditor has to encash this check by presenting it in the bank. In some cases, the creditor or supplier may not present this check immediately in the bank. So, when the bank statement is received by the firm, as this check is not yet presented by the creditor or supplier, this will not be there in the bank statement. This is one reason. The next reason is, checks paid into the bank but not yet collected. When the business receives checks from its customers or debtors, they are immediately recorded in the debit side of the cash book. So, the cash book shows more amount to be available with the bank. These checks could be from a bank which is not in the same city or town. Sometimes, the business might have an account in one branch and the check could be from a different branch altogether. In such cases, the bank may not have collected this check amount by the time the bank statement is received by the firm. So, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the passbook balances. This is one more reason. The next reason is direct debits made by the bank on behalf of the customer. Sometimes the bank deducts the amount for various services from the business bank account. The business will not be aware of these deductions until the bank statement is received by the firm. Some of the examples of such deductions are check collection charges, interest on overdraft, etc. As the business does not know about these direct debits, they will not be recorded in the business cash book. So, obviously, there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. This is one more reason. The next reason is amounts directly deposited in the bank account. In some cases, the debtors or customers directly deposit money into the firm's bank account. But the firm does not know about these deposits into the bank account until the bank statement is received. In this case, the bank records the receipts in the bank passbook, but it will not be recorded in the firm's cash book. As a result, the balance shown in the bank passbook and the balance shown in the business cash book will be different. This is one more reason. The next reason is interest and dividends collected by the bank. When the bank collects interest and dividends on behalf of the customer, then these are immediately credited to the customer's account. Note here that the term customer refers to our business and not our business customer. In other words, this means that the interests or dividends collected by the bank on behalf of our business. But the business will not know about these transactions until the bank statement is received. So, there will be difference in the cash book balance 
and the bank passbook balances. There are other reasons also, but to limit the scope of these differences to this problem, let us consider only these five reasons for timing difference. Now, coming back to the errors made by the business or the bank, errors committed in recording the transaction by the firm. One of the errors could be due to the omission or wrong recording of transactions related to the checks issued, checks deposited, and wrong totaling, etc., committed by the firm while recording the entries in the cash book. This will cause a difference between the cash book and passbook balances. Also, I want to reiterate that when there is any debit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be in the credit side. And if there is any credit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be in the debit side. We have to keep this in mind. Now, with this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of these details in the problem. Here it is given that the overdraft balance as per the passbook is given as 20,000 rupees. As you know, the overdraft balance means that there is debit balance in the passbook, and we call the overdraft or debit balance as unfavorable balance of passbook. So, in this problem, the debit or overdraft balance as per the passbook is given and we need to find the balance in the business cash book. Let us first enter these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first enter the title as bank reconciliation statement as of March 31st, 2000 plus. Let us have the individual columns for serial number, particulars, amount that should be added and the amount that should be deducted. Let us first write the particulars as overdraft as per the passbook. As this is debit or unfavorable balance in the passbook, we need to write this amount of 20,000 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that 500 rupees of bank charges are debited in the passbook. When the bank debits the bank charges, the business does not know about these charges until the bank statement is received. So, obviously, there will be difference in the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as bank charges debited as per passbook. Let us then write this amount of 500 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that a check was recorded in the cash book but was not sent to the bank for collection. Here it is not given whether the check is recorded in the cash column or the bank column. If it was recorded in the bank column, it was supposed to be sent on the same day to the bank. If it is not sent, then it's an error. If it was recorded in the cash column and not sent to the bank, due to the timing difference, it will not be there in the passbook. In any case, what matters to us is that the check is not created in the bank passbook. So, obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to add this check amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particular as check recorded in the cash book but not yet encashed. Let us then write this amount of 2500 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is specified that the payment is directly received from the customer. When the customers directly deposit the amount in the bank, it will be credited in the bank passbook. But the business knows about these deposits only after the bank statement is received. So there won't be any corresponding entry for this amount in the cash book. So obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to deduct this amount from the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as directly credited by the customer or debtor. 
Let us then write this amount of four thousand and six hundred rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the back reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that a check for six thousand and nine hundred and eighty rupees is issued by the business, but it is not yet presented for payment by the receiver. When the check is issued to the supplier or vendor, it will be created in the cash book, and then it is issued to them. If the check was presented for payment, it will be debited from the pass book. But here it is specified that the check is not yet presented, so it is not yet debited from the pass book. So obviously, there will be difference between the cash book balance and the pass book balances. So this amount should be deducted from the pass book balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as check issued but not yet presented for payment. Let us write this amount of six thousand and nine hundred and eighty rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the back reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. In this case, one hundred rupees of interest is created by the bank in the pass book. When it is time for paying the interest, the bank will directly credit this interest amount in the pass book. But the business is not aware of this interest amount until the bank statement is received by the business. So obviously, there will be difference in the cash book balance and the bank pass book balances. So we need to deduct this amount from the pass book balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as interest created by bank. Let us now write this amount of one hundred rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that LIC paid by bank is two thousand and five hundred rupees. Sometimes the business gives standing instructions to the bank to make such payments periodically. So the business does not have to keep track of these payments, and the payments are done automatically from the bank. So when it is time to make these payments, the bank debits this amount in the bank pass book. But the business is not aware of these payments until the bank statement is received. So obviously these payments will not be there in the business cash book. So there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank pass book balances. So we need to add this amount to the pass book balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as LIC paid by bank. Let us now write this amount of two thousand and five hundred rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that the checks worth of three thousand and five hundred rupees are deposited in the bank, but they were not collected. As you know, the business debits this check amount in the cash book before depositing these checks in the bank. However, due to the timing difference, these deposited checks were not created in the bank pass book. As they were not yet collected, so obviously there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank pass book balances. So we need to add this amount to the pass book balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as checks deposited in the bank but not yet collected. Let us now write this amount of three thousand and five hundred rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. In fact, we have completed the recording of all the details into the bank reconciliation statement. The next step is to find the balance as per the cash book. Now, the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is nine thousand rupees, and the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is thirty one thousand and six hundred and eighty rupees. From thirty-one thousand and six hundred and eighty rupees, if you subtract nine thousand rupees, we get twenty-two thousand and six hundred and eighty rupees. This is the cash book balance, and now let's record this. Let us first write the particulars as overdraft as per the cash book. 
As we have started with the passbook overdraft balance, we need to write this sketchbook overdraft balance of 22,680 rupees in the plus amount column. Now the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 31,680 rupees. Similarly, the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 31,680 rupees. With that, we have come to the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.